Hello everyone. In case you are wondering what this is, this is my uh, Canon 200D. This is my DSLR, which uh, I am now using to record my videos using, of course, uh, this utility called G422, which I talked about recently in one of my videos. And uh, today I thought I'll probably you know, show you a few more things. And actually, I'll actually show you the uh, video from the camera. So right now I'm, I'm not really using uh, this camera. I'm using my Logitech, but I will also show you this camera in just a second. So before I talk about uh, how it works, basically you need to install it. And I think uh, I, I showed this in one of my video, but I'll pro probably run some commands and I'll talk about it. So basically you need to install G422. You need, this is the main utility. And then you need to install uh, this uh, V4L hyphen utils and V4L2 loopback hyphen DKMS. Now, the, the very first thing that you need to do is uh, you need to make sure that uh, you are able to detect your camera. For example, if you run this command called as a G422 auto detect, it will show you your camera if it is connected. So if this works, then you're good. The second thing that you may want to do is you may want to simply take a picture. So to take a picture from your camera, you can uh, use this command called g422 and then uh, you know pass in hyphen f1 capture image and download it will basically download an image and when you do this using canon cameras make sure your camera is in the photo mode similarly you can also capture a movie like this and uh, uh, you can specify the duration like 10 second or 5 second and when you do this make sure your camera your dslr is in movie mode Right, so this this is something that you can do to verify that you are able to you know make the connection, and uh, uh, you can also specify the file uh, name if you want uh, if 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 there is something that you may want to do, and the main thing that you need to do if you want to use it as a webcam, you basically need to create a dummy camera, and you can do this by using this command called uh, sudo mop sudo, of course you know for uh, the uh, elevated rights, but uh, you have to basically use mod probe and then V4L2 loop back and it will basically create a dummy camera uh, for you with uh, some name. But you can also specify in the same command if you want uh, your card's label, your your camera's label, like fake cam, whatever uh, you want to call it. So you can actually, uh, once you run this command, you can then uh, use V4L2 hyphen CTL command and you, you can see that uh, this is now listed here on top. So this is great and for me, it was not really working all the time, but uh, a simple solution is that if things don't really work, I mean, if you're able to take a picture and if you're able to take uh, the video, use, uh, I mean, in the beginning, then I think uh, it's more about uh, just redoing stuff. Maybe if you have tried it before or maybe some problem, there, there was some problem with the connection or maybe there, there was some problem with the cable, then you, you can kill your G422 instance if it is running or you can just remove the dummy camera. To remove the dummy camera, you just need to use this command, RM mod, and then V4L2 loop back. That is it. And try it again. It should work. It, it, it has worked so far. So let me show you because right now this, uh, uh, and, and of course, after you do all this, and if you want to redirect your camera output to your webcam, your dummy cam, you need to run this command called G422 hyphen uh, std out hyphen fn capture movie and then you need to use this uh, fmpeg uh, command basically you're piping and uh, you have to make sure that you're using the right video uh, uh, device which is in the in this case in my case it is video, video 4 so if you search online if you go to the g422 website you'll find these things now to see this in action you can do a couple of things you can of course you use your zoom or google meet and uh, use your uh, video 4 your webcam your dummy webcam or you can also use uh, this ffmpeg not ffmpeg ff play command and uh, let me just you know, you know switch to my my camera my dsl camera i mean i'm not switch to but i'll just show you both so i can do something like video and this is it so now you can see i look uh, really 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 uh, nice and definitely the quality is uh, wonderful as compared to what you normally get with uh, your webcam. So this is my webcam, although I'm very happy with my webcam. But at the same time, um, there is, uh, of course, 
no match when you compare it with your DSLR. You can of course, you know, zoom in, zoom out. It is very smooth. I have the STM lens. It works really nicely. And there might be a problem with the delay. Now, let me show you the delay. So this is my Logitech webcam. I mean, there might be, there might not be a delay because when you're watching this video, uh, because in my FFmpeg script, I usually insert a delay. Um, so by the time you're looking at this video, because the outcome of the video would probably have this 0.5 millisecond, I mean, some, some half second, not, not really millisecond, half second delay or some, some delay. I'm basically introducing a delay, um, in my script. It has been the case for a while now because, uh, there is usually some delay if you're using, uh, FFM peg to create a video. Now, let me show you, uh, because right now it is recording from both the webcams. So you should be able to figure out the difference. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I'm sure uh, you might have seen the difference um, because I'm using both the cameras, but the quality is definitely wonderful. So I'm now, and by the way, I'm this year, um, I don't really think I've, if I shared it or not, but this year I'm trying to invest a bit more time in creating videos, uh, a bit more fancy polished videos. And uh, I've done some setup and I will of course int introduce those things slowly. But I really want to, uh, I really want to focus on the outcome, not really show you the setup all the time. So uh, hopefully you will, in you, you will see, see, see some difference in the, in the coming videos. Uh, but of course, you know, a very quick, simple win is to use this DSLR camera and it, it is quite fine. I was initially thinking of buying that uh, Alligato cam link, whatever, you know, where you can output your HDMI to your uh, laptop and, uh, you, you know, capture card, but, but I don't really think I need to because I already have this cable and it works. All right, that is it. It looks good. I'm happy with uh, the setup and I hope I've given you some ideas so that you can also improve the quality of your videos. All right, that is it. That is it for today. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.